close your eyes where you are and begin to bless yourself with all kinds of blessings. Decree that you shall be well with you. That the hand of God shall be upon you for good. Prophesy upon your life. Tell the Lord that this month we favor you. His hand shall fight all your battles. The blood of Jesus will envelop you and your family. And you shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. Speak to the Lord yourself. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Let's bring out our pamphlet as you sing the opening hymn. Awake and in the strength renewed. The battle cry take up again. All enemies shall be subdued and Christ the Lord shall reign. For Christ must reign. For Christ must reign. I hope in him is not in vain. For Christ must reign. For Christ must reign. For Christ must reign. I hope in him is not in vain. For Christ must reign. Oh, 
valley on the land and in the sea on the mountain in the valley on the land and in the sea hallelujah and Lord is my portion in the land of the living the Lord is good forevermore the Lord is my portion in the land of the living the Lord is good forevermore on the mountain in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah! The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good Unquestionably you are the Lord Unquestionably you are the Lord Unquestionably, unquestionably Unquestionably you are the Lord Hallelujah Unquestionably you are the Lord Hallelujah Unquestionably you are the Lord Hallelujah Unquestionably you are the Lord Yes, yes, yes Unquestionably you are the Lord Sonana, 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 Sonana,
you for another time before you. We thank you for the words of prophecy that have gone forth for this meeting. And as many as we join with this program, we'll have awesome testimonies. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon your people today. In Jesus' name we pray. Have your seat, beloved, and bring out your implements of labor. The Bible says, whatsoever you lay your hands upon shall prosper. It is good to speak by the spirit of prophecy upon these instruments of labor on this tenth month. So that it will, it will prosper in your hands. It will change your story. And it will make greater things to happen for you. So that it can give you a net breaking breakthrough. The kind of breakthrough the net of Peter gave to Peter. Lay your hands on that instrument of labor. Take your pamphlet. In that pamphlet, you will see prayers on implements of labor. Lay your hands upon your implements of labor and begin to pray loud and clear those prayers on that on those implements. After this program, you will notice a massive inflow of breakthroughs <laughs> on common testimonies increase prosperity so lay your hands on your implements of business and if you didn't come here with whether your pen or your jigger or your shovel or anything like that Lay your two hands upon each other and begin to pray these prayers on your hands. We can start now.
Amen. All the prayers who have prayed now shall become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Rise to your feet now. Rise to your feet. And let your voice roar like thunder. As you pray these seven destiny changing and story changing prayers. Do not allow anybody's voice to be louder than yours. Unto each of these seven prayers, there are mighty testimonies attached. Can you shout this loud and clear? Oh God, Allah! As a mighty, terrible one, can you shout that loud? name we pray any power say I shall never see my blessings scatter by fire in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to decree it. scatter them by fire Makatenda la kaya bo shendera bo kosata. In Jesus' name we pray. Gate of bondages. Shout it with only a thread. Time me to the past. Break in the name of Jesus. Break it. Makatenda la kaya bo shendera bo kopola ba. Open your mouth and pray it. In Jesus' name, we pray. Every enemy of my testimony, your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Enemies of my testimonies. Bury them now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Every battle. Doing over time in my life. Can you shout it with violent anger? Expire! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray two more prayers as this prayers have been prayed there are some firstborn said that are not finding their feet you will begin to find your feet there are some who have been mysteriously losing things what the enemy has stolen from you you shall repossess them all your stolen virtues shall come back. Two more prayers. Pray it with fire and with power. Power, sir. Blocking the source of my joy. In the name of Jesus. Power is blocking the 
source of my joy. Die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This servant one. I want you to lose your temper in the Holy Ghost as you pray. Arrows of destiny dislocation. Shout it loud. What are you waiting for? Back for in the name of Jesus. Fire back the arrows of destiny dislocation. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Father, I'm praying for all those who are celebrating their wedding and anniversary of birthday this month. Let your power be upon them for good. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. And by this time next year, if you tarry, you're coming. Let them be a bigger bundle of testimony. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat for a few minutes. God bless you. For the next few minutes, I like you to listen to me very, very carefully. Prayer is a mysterious thing. Prayer is a strategic thing. Prayers locates. It directs. It attacks. It recovers. It pursues. It overtakes. We're here so that we can begin to address certain things that has become a serious cause of concern. That's why we're looking at confronting the rage of vampire powers. The rage of vampire powers. The prayers cannot be concluded today. We're going, to, we're, going to continue, we're going to continue at manner water. We're going to continue. Any other power must change as that follows. In Psalm 27, verse 2. Psalm 27, verse 2. It is not in vain that these scriptures are written. Psalm 27 verse 2 When the wicked wicked wicked, wicked even my enemies enemies wicked enemies and my foes foes three qualifications. The wicked, the foes, the enemies. They come upon me to eat up my flesh. They stumble and fell. They stumble and fell. I'm praying for all who are gathered at this program. At every agenda of eaters of flesh for your life is destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. The Bible did not stop there. 
it went to the book of Isaiah. Chapter 49. Verse 26. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. Even they will be drinking their own blood like sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, the Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Beloved, these are unfriendly times. People clothe themselves in rags and they are happy with it. Women get married to dogs. Daughters marrying their mothers. Girls giving birth at ages of 13 and 14. These are strange times. Men impregnating their own daughters. Women having sex with animals and with artificial things. People breastfeeding animals. Medical doctors sleeping with psychiatric patients and sick patients. All kinds of strange things are happening. So bad that the thoughts of it is scary. Really, the book of Revelation is coming to pass. That the devil has come down to us in great wrath. The enemy has really come down with great anger. Lives of young and old people, including those who have not even stepped into our world, are wasted. Blood thirst and hunger has now assumed epidemic proportions. Unfortunately, there is a large array of people now who delight in seeing blood and snuffing out the lot of others anyhow. And in their killing of people, sex, age is not respected. I'm worried as somebody interested in deliverance that the volume of those who wish to die and take other people with them, they are rising up. I cannot bring myself to understand why a pregnant woman should attach bomb on her body and blow herself, blow herself up. Because she wants to kill more people. These are days of vampire spirits. I saw this revelation in 2019. And quietly I was warning them at the crossover to 2020. The Lord showed me that the vampire spirit is about to be released on the earth. And it's going to attack so many people. And even Christians who do not have their alarm filled will be attacked. That revelation was a revelation of torture and torment and bloodshed increasing on the surface of the earth. And all this will be as a result of the vampire spirits, bloodthirsty, ruthless demons that have been released upon man. They will bully and beat man mercilessly. And so all the wars and cures 
and looting and all these things is as a result of this vampire spirit put out. And this is why I decree by the decree of heavens that every activity of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood in this nation and any other nation of the world shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. A servant for the man. What are these vampire spirits? The Bible name for them is eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. Don't be too alarmed. And don't be too sophisticated and civilized to think that there are no such powers. The eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. They eat flesh and drink blood. The Bible describes them as the mighty and the terrible. Two dangerous names. The mighty, the terrible. They are dark powers. And they don't respect your position. They don't respect who you are. They don't know whether your father was a bishop. They don't know whether you are a president. They don't know whether you are a general vassal. These powers specialize in drinking blood and taking people as prey. And if you do not take steps, first of all, to barricade yourself and then launch war against them, you will become a victim. They are oppressive spirits, limiting spirits. They use human beings as dinner by eating their flesh. And they use their blood as wine by drinking that blood. They feed on the essence of life. This is the age of the vampire. In all areas they are operating. Vampire relationships. Vampire business. Vampire friends. Vampire economy. Vampire monies. All operating now. We have as believers to confront these powers. The Bible says in Revelation 17, John the Revelator was looking at this strange principality. The Bible said the principality got drunk on the blood of saints. He said, I wonder with great admiration. The enemy has gone really deep and has made a lot of terrible things. Many cases are in the hospital. That is as a result of what we are describing now. The strange accidents is because of what we are describing now. And note, as a Christian, anytime you see blood being shed mysteriously, a massive wastage of human blood is the activity of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. I was going to about Femi Aulawa University to minister. After we've passed Ibadan, we're going there. Nobody was speeding. 
there was a vehicle at my front. It was not the, the vehicle was not speeding. All of a sudden, in that, in that full glare like this, I saw the vehicle to my son. Landed on the sides. No tire lost, nothing. And blood began to flow out. I told those with me in the vehicle, did you see what just happened? This is activity and powers of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. As many as are listening to me now, if there is any organ in your body that has been eaten up, if your blood is on any shrine, if your blood is on any altar, if there is a power crying to dry up your blood anywhere, if any power is, as, is assigned to use as a sacrifice, with a sevenfold giant amen, they are dead in the name of Jesus. I'm going to stop here for now. I've described what we want to face to you. What do we need to do as believers? Knowing that the situation is now like this. You'll be hearing testimonies about people being kidnapped, people being killed, all kinds of things. And you can see the way they've organized themselves to waste people's lives. People who are demons incarnate. A pastor in this ministry was traveling outside Lagos. Unfortunately, his vehicle was hijacked by kidnappers. They took all the seven people in the vehicle into, into the bush somewhere. He told me he saw them slaughtering those people. And they were ticking off on their paper the livers they wanted, the hearts they wanted, the reproductive organs they wanted. So he, he put his hand in his pocket and brought out his ID card. So, brethren, he called kidnappers brethren. The brethren, I'm a pastor. Say, shut up. Which pastor? But all of a sudden, the boss who had his face covered said, Leave him. He mentioned the pastor's name. Remove his disguise. He said, Pastor, you don't know me. He said, No. Never met you before. He said, Look at me very well. He said, No, never met you before. He said, Pastor, you know me. When we were in the campus, whenever I had no money to feed, you always feed me. He mentioned his name. The pastor could now remember. He said, So, you are not dying. So, take him back. That's what delivered the pastor. <laughs> Maybe we'll not even find him again. I'm praying for somebody here. Any power that wants to use you as a sacrifice shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. Shall be buried alive, shall be buried alive, shall be buried alive in the name of Jesus. I ask the Lord, what do we now do? Number one, call on me for mercy. We need mercy. All of us, the whole human race, nationally, internationally, we need to call 
and the mercy of God. That mercy prevails over judgment. Number two, I'm telling you what the Lord said to me now. Number two, he said, tell my children that they should enter into the room of power. That we should all seek divine power. That old-fashioned power that we used to read about. We should seek for that power. If more believers are endued with power, we shall shake the environment and change everything. We change the narrative that is happening now. Number one, call for my mercy. Number two, encourage my people to enter into the room of power. And finally, pray merciless prayers. Merciless prayers. Unsanitized prayer. Uncivilized prayer. Prayer that you pray. Somebody will say, Are you crazy? What kind of prayer is this? I remember many years ago the first church that I pastored. So people used to come and drop charms and fetish powers close to our church. Until we change our prayer point. Uh, Father, the next person who brings charms here, let the angels of God plant the charms in their bodies. Do you know that by the time two or three people die, they stop coming to drop the charms? I'm praying for you. Any power that wants you to die shall replace you in the grave in the name of Jesus. Shall replace you. Shall replace you. Shall replace you. Shall replace you. Shall replace you in the grave in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet now. And all eyes closed. In case you are here, you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. You need to do so very quickly now. By say what I'm going to say after. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Who said I should pray with me? Don't rush home. Gather here and the auditorium immediately will close. The pastors and uh, the counselors will be ready to meet with you. Or you can take our number on the screen. God bless you in the name of Jesus. It is time to start the merciless, uncivilized prayer against these powers. The Bible says we rise you not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. This is not the time to joke. This is not the time to even have pity on any power. Can you shout this loud and clear? Eat us of flesh and drink us of blood. Hear the word of the Lord. Drink your own blood. Eat your own flesh. In the name of Jesus. They must eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Vampire powers. My life. 
if it's not your candidate there in the name of Jesus somebody is breaking through with his prayers receive your healing receive your breakthrough receive your healing receive your breakthrough in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ yes activities of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood I bury you now in the name of Jesus aha 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 name we pray can you shout this again loud and clear vampire powers destroy yourself in the name of Jesus let them destroy themselves Jesus name we pray this prayer is to be prayed three hot times as you are praying it things will begin to happen problems that enemy has cooked for you shall turn back on the enemy You that you need to fight hard battles to get little results. Your way shall open. That infirmity that has followed you here. Just check your body immediately will close. It shall not go home with you. Can you shout this with boiling anger? Shout it without any apology. Powers! Saying that my story will end where I am now. Powers! Saying that my story will end where I am now. In the name of Jesus. Makate sete la kaya bo shendera bo koso tonda yaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Somebody is breaking through. Somebody is breaking through. Kill the power. Kill the power. Jesus name we pray open your mouth and pray it again thank you Jesus my story shall not end where I am now in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray yes Father, let the surgeons of heaven begin to go about now. Let them begin to remove every infirmity. Let them begin to remove whatever the enemy has planted. You, the spirit of infirmity, hear the word of the Lord. That place is not your habitation. I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus. You, the stubborn spirit husband planting evil materials in the womb I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father 
in Jesus name we pray bring out your tithes and offering for this meeting please when you come to Palm of St. John, bring something to the Lord special. Father, we thank you for the thanks and the offering. A good measure, press down, falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. Bless your children to dumbfounding degree. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your prayer requests. If we have a prayer request in this program as we pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus, all the prayer requests brought, I let them become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Answer us by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for all who have gathered at this particular edition of the Palm of Changes. I decree that the hammer of God shall fall upon your stubborn enemies in the name of Jesus. The hammer of God shall fall upon your stubborn enemies in the name of Jesus. The hammer of God shall fall upon your stubborn enemies in the name of Jesus. Every Goliath assigned against you shall die in the name of Jesus. In this month of October, you shall prosper. The hand of God will fight your battles. Every yoke of the enemy is broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, let these hands carry the fire of God. Let it carry the power to break every yoke. In Jesus' name we pray. If you have any infirmity in your body, smile the place 21 times, shouting, go back to the senders. Let's go. Do it well, do it well. Makatenda yabushende raboko setenda kaya bushanda ribosopoli kaya bushende raba. Amen. Check your body now. Those infirmities have disappeared. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Make His face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength. You shall go from glory to glory. No weapon formed against your destiny shall prosper. The spirit of God will move you forward in a new way. You shall trample upon every serpent and scorpion. And over every power of the enemy. In Jesus mighty name we pray. And let us share the grace in fellowship. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Love of God. The sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Surely, goodness and mercy are for Lord all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. 21 Goliath defeating, hallelujah. Let's go. Yeah.